Welcome to this channel. In this tutorial, we will design a voltage follower peak detector circuit using the LT Spice tool. So before going into this tutorial, I request you to like, share and subscribe to my channel below. The figure below shows the peak detector circuit. So this particular design calculation will help you understand how we have arrived to this particular design of voltage follower peak detector circuit using the LM741 op-amp. Now let us start the design. Click on component and place a LM741 op-amp on the schematic window. So place this particular op-amp. We require two op-amp for this design purpose. So in order to rotate the op-amp, you can use Ctrl plus R. Now place this particular op-amp LM741. So we require two op-amp for this design purpose. Now click on diode and place this particular diode. In order to rotate the diode, use Ctrl plus R and place this particular diode in the schematic window. So place two diodes. We require two diodes for this particular design and you can adjust the component accordingly by using the move function. Now click on capacitor and place this particular capacitor on the schematic window and also click on resistor and place two resistor that is resistor R1 and resistor R2. Now we have placed all the necessary component for our design. Now right click on resistor R1 and define the value of resistor as 1 mega ohm. Similarly right click on resistor R2 and define the value of resistor as 1 mega ohm. Now right click on the capacitor and define the value of capacitor as 4000 Pico farad. Now right click on diode D1 and we have to pick a diode for our simulation purpose. So we use 1N4148 diode. Now click on wire, connect the resistor R1 to the terminal positive terminal of LM741 and connect the output to diode D1 and D2. Now connect the diode D2 to capacitor C1 and from capacitor C1 to the positive terminal of LM741. Now the output of LM741 is connected to resistor R2 and from resistor R2 to the negative terminal of LM741. Connect the diode D1 to the resistor R2. Now click on ground and place this particular ground across the capacitor C1. Now we have to place the voltage source for our design purpose. So click on voltage source and place the voltage source on the schematic window. So let us place three different voltage source. So the two voltage source would be used to power the LM741 op-amp. The other voltage source will be used as an input. Now click on ground and place the ground connection on all the voltage source. Now click escape, click on wire and extend the wire across the voltage source V1 across the voltage source V2 as well as across the voltage source V3. 
Now double click on V1 and change the value to VCC. Similarly change the value of V2 to VEE and V3 to VN. Now we have to click on wire and extend the wire across the OPAM LM741 on the positive and on the negative end. Similarly do for the second OPAM extend the wire across the negative terminal and the positive terminal of the OPAM. Now click on label net and place the label net VCC across the positive end of the supply voltage for OPAM U1 and U2 and similarly place the supply voltage VEE across the negative end of OPAM. Now we have to place the VN input for this particular circuit. So place this particular VN across the resistor R1 of this particular circuit. Now we have to define the voltage source for this particular simulation. So right click on the voltage source VCC, define the DC value as 15 volt. Similarly, right click on VEE, define it as minus 15 volt. Now right click on VN, click on advanced and define the sign. Define the DC offset as 0, amplitude as 2.5 volt, frequency as 10 kilohertz and place this on the schematic window. Click on spice analysis and define the stop time as 4 milli. Now place the label net V out and place this V out across the output of OPAM LM741. Now click on wire and connect the negative terminal of OPAM LM741 to the output. Now save this particular circuit and we have to place the voltage source VCC across the supply voltage. Now place this label net VEE across the supply voltage and similarly place the label net VN across the supply voltage. Now save this particular circuit and run the simulation. Click on VN. You can see the input wave and place this particular probe on the output. You can see the voltage follower peak detector output. Now let us this run this particular simulation again. Now what we can do is that we will add a plot plane and now click on V out. You can see the output of the voltage follower peak detector. Thank you for watching this tutorial. I hope this has helped your learning purpose. I request you to like, share and subscribe my channel below.